Hello again everybody, it's Andy Broad in the studio. When last we saw, we saw these particular panels with that particular Moses and the parting of the Red Sea. Now it's going to look very similar, but we're going to have some major changes. I want to say major. The aesthetics stay, stay the same, but what's happened is we've separated these two pieces of glass. Now if you take a look at from this point of view, they were very close and they were closely related to each other. What I've done is I've separated them and spread them apart so there's going to be more of a three-dimensional spread that's there. Now I've pulled away pieces here so you can actually see these steel acorn nuts, those little round things, represent very strong light sources and those strong light sources are installed in cabinetry or just a regular wood framed um, structure that just has a regular subfloor like you'd be walking on but these glass mounts are now individually holding each particular glass wave or sail. Now those sails get, as we said, mounted to that. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be hiding, see how we get a little down a little bit lower, we're going to be putting a three to four inch tall piece of quarter thick, quarter inch thick copper plate and that copper plate finishes that edge and the front of the cabinetry has the same wall finish as the rest of the walls do, et cetera, et cetera, over there. So that's one little change right there. The next thing you have to remember is that we've got these bright, bright hot spots that are back over here. And we also have this wood that this stuff mounts into. We want to hide all that. And so we also wanted to add people. So if you think back to how the process works, we make an impression, impression is made, the glass is actually textured to match that. We paint it with very vibrant, vibrant blue and greens, much like Chagall's windows that are back over here. We're gonna stay in that same color vernacular, same color palette. The only thing we're now adding is we're adding silhouettes. And what I mean by that is you can kind of see these are clear pieces or just regular before the glass has been painted or actually in this case it's a plexiglass or uh, a, a flexible uh, plastic. And what we've done is by eliminating this bar where my finger points right here, now this allows us to enter into some of these glass silhouettes that will help to block the light bulb, okay? But these glass silhouettes are not only going to be on smaller panels such as this that help to make the composition, hide everything, hide the hot spots, but they're also very subtly going to be placed into the actual waves themselves to be more of a ghost-like image. And I've done this here, we've kind of have one that's relatively clear. And if I laid a clear one back into the backside or part of the sail pattern right here, you can kind of see the colors are vibrant, the colors stay the same, but yet there'll be a tiny little ghost-like impression. Much as, much as we have impressions into the glass that are back over here, the sails themselves will have those very subtle textured nuances of people walking through it. And last but not least, my favorite part, which I think is going to be pushed a little bit further, is we're going to have footprints into the glass and these footprint panels are going to represent if you think before we had this red that was back down in here well this red itself is now going to it's going to be layers of heavily textured footprint glass so you see glass footprints that are back there to, to complete the composition and last but not least you'll see I've built a metal frame or armature for Moses back here that's going to support another piece of kiln cast glass plate that's going to start with those textured silhouettes, uh, vignettes of that, uh, of the, the Exodus. Uh, it'll be back through there. And it also have iconic Jewish imagery possibly laid in there. I haven't figured that part out yet. And let's also not forget that Moses himself, this is just a representation of it. It'll be a very uh, muted uh, reddish, it'll be a off-tone red that will be vibrantly, vibrantly lit. I do not want this to make it look gaudy. I do not want it to make it look ghost-like. I would like it to make it be subtle, timeless, very Chagall-esque, as is, is some people would say. So that's basically where we stand right now. Of course, these are all clear. They've not been colored, not been painted yet, but I was working more importantly on hiding the, all the wood that's going to be there and all the infrastructure. So if you've got anything else, please give us a... Give us your, your input and everything else. Remember, they'll be colored the same. They're clear right now. Uh, light bulbs are accessed from the top. You'll be able to unscrew them easily, to ma easily maintained. If a bulb ever needed to be changed, or a fixture ever needed to change, you can change it from the inside and there. The only maintenance you'll need to do with this is clean it. Thanks.